That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge Mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> A vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Max Silver! You <laughs> were such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, in mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what a Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it! All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those <laughs> with pure hearts will be able to see. But the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh... Why? <laughs> Dude. That was... Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today... We go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right, time to find this map. Huh. 
Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. I remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what happens. Wonder if I could still get to the end. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. Where could that map be? Maybe it's... This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Bingo. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. There it is, the dark cavern. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate.
just need a few more inches. Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. I think that should be tall enough. There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I think I can squeeze through now. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Closer. Ugh, this desk's pretty heavy. Glad this thing is empty.
Finally. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. This is a nice close-up shot. Yeah. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. On my way. <laughs> <laughs> 